Welcome to the Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship. Jason Wigan and Jim Holly here on SupercrossOnline.com. We're going to talk about the upcoming 2008 Monster Energy Supercross campaign. And Jim, the big story coming in here, it's not just about riders, it's not just about bikes, it's not just about tracks. It's about the championship tour itself. One champion now, it's all been unified. You know, I think it's better for the sport to have one championship. Before in the past, they had two championships. They had the AMA championship, they had the FIM championship. Well, now, you know what? There's no more bragging rights who's, who's going to be the world champion and who's going to be the AMA champion. It is one championship here, and all guys know it. And you know what? Everybody's got to be in Canada this year. Yeah, that's right. We're going to go to Toronto in the springtime, so that's all integrated in. Of course, last year we actually did only have one champ because James Stewart was able to win both the AMA and the World Supercross crowns. And everybody's gunning for James this year. Uh, he's had some additions to his program, which will probably only make him even stronger for 2008. Well, one of the additions that you talked about is Eldon Baker, which was Ricky Carmichael's trainer. He yeah. comes over to James Stewart's camp, and oh, if you're Chad Reed and the other guys, you're just scratching your head going, oh, man, what can we do to stop this kid? But, uh, you know, he's only human. He puts his le uh, you know, leathers on one leg at a time, and uh, he is beatable. Well, that's what these guys are hoping for, and there are some riders that definitely think they have a shot at it, and maybe it's not by beating James straight up every week, but they want to be consistent. That's what uh, Chad Reed has done in the past, and Grant Langston has a lot of momentum. He won that AMA Toyota Motocross Championship and the U.S. Open because he was very consistent. I think that's what those guys are going to bank on. Well, consistency for sure, and then a lot of teams have a lot of new riders. You mentioned Team Suzuki. You know, they have Michael Lessie over there now. they got David Villeman. Uh, Michael Byrne yep. comes over now. He's a factory guy at Suzuki, but unfortunately, he's got an injury, so he won't be at the start of the uh, championship. But uh, the other guys I like, Nick Way. I mean, he comes over. He was in Barcelona, Spain a few weeks ago, comes away with that win for KTM. He's fired up. Uh, Ivan Tedesco moves over to Honda. He's fired up. And like you mentioned, Josh Hill, at, uh, Langston's teammate at Yamaha, he steps up into the 450 ranks, so it's going to be a great championship. Yeah, it's going to be deep. It's going to be hard to be consistent because there's so many riders to look for. And, of course, that's just the Supercross class. We're going to have a, a lights champion, of course, in the West and a lights champion in the East. We'll have West starting off first, and Ryan Villapoto, who's last year's champ, He's moving east, so it's going to be wide open here out of the west. Well, and everybody said, you know, I don't want to go east. I want to, I want to come out west here. I don't want to get with Ryan Villapoto. But, uh, you know, Ryan Villapoto, I think him moving to the east coast is, is, is great for him for the 09 season when he comes into the 450 yeah. class because of the fact that he hasn't been on a light spike on the east coast. And why cut somebody loose, you know, on a supercross bike on the east coast? He'll get a chance to learn the ruts learn the tracks, learn the cities, and get a little bit familiarized with everything before he makes that transition. On the other hand, that just makes that West even much more competitive. Everybody wants to win the West here. And like you said, you got uh, Jason Lawrence. He's going to be uh, gunning for the West. Brock Hepler, Dungey. I mean, there's a plethora of riders that can make a difference out here in the West. Yeah, and I want to ask about that, Jim. You're a former racer, former Supercross champ. You know what it's like when you go into a series and you really feel like you have a realistic shot at it, like guys like Dungey and Lawrence and Hepler would feel. It has to bring their confidence up. Well, you know, it's interesting you mentioned that. Back when I rode, there were so many head games. This guy got this much money. This guy's wearing that goggle, that helmet. This guy's using that tire. You know what? I just looked at it. I said, you know what? I'll wait. I'll see him at the first round and see what they got. I don't, I don't play those games, but there are a lot of games uh, uh, being played here before the start of the season. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're all fired up. Championships are on the line, and it's going to start right here at Anaheim. Jim and I are going to be covering it all year, of course, on our traditional webcast on supercrossonline.com, and we'll have a lot of great videos coming your way too. So keep it tuned to the website every Saturday here for Monster Energy Supercross.